All right, hello everyone, and peace of Christ to all of you. Sorry, I'm late a little bit. I suppose he will be at two thirty here, but uh, getting some time to prepare. Uh, prepare because I'm doing both uh, broadcasts in Facebook and in YouTube. Uh, <clears throat> our topic today is about bees, and um, the Muslims, as usual, they have uh, miracles for us. And those miracles can be found only in the amazing, amazing, beautiful book, which is called the Quran. Um, so today we are going to discuss those uh, miracles, as they call them. And we would see if this is true or not. You see, because Islam is a religion, here a prophet or its prophet has no miracles whatsoever so the Muslims they start looking for one you know as they say when you are bankrupt every penny count so you start you cannot find dollars so you start looking for pennies you could not find pennies then you start looking in the garbage uh, <clears throat> and we will show you the one who sent me the message here Asking me, this is amazing miracle. How we can refute this one? Mm, really, is it amazing? We will see how stupid it is, or let us see how amazing stupid it is. <clears throat> uh, if you don't mind, guys, just um, I'm, I'm I'm posting right now as I'm speaking to you in Facebook, etc. So people will know that I am live on air. If you don't mind, you can do the same. If you care, if you don't care, it's okay. I I'm used to it. Uh. When somebody speak to me about a miracle, the first thing I need to examine is the how authentic uh, the person who is speaking, not just somebody telling me something. You know, I can make nice a graphic now and music background. I put something, you know, a, a shelf full of books behind me and books and etc., uh, just to convince you that I am uh, somebody who have knowledge. Uh, most of the, the the people who do scam, they don't come to you in a clothes you don't expect. To make it simple, if somebody wanna get inside your house, he have to get a reason. So what he wear? Like he wear the, the the uniform of the cable guy. He will not say to you. He will not come to you wearing a uniform of a thief. Right. He have to give himself a legitimate uh, reason to enter your house. In this case, is your brain. So in order to enter your brain, he have to fool you, and he have to put like a thousand book behind him just to make you believe, for a second at least, that he is a person who speak with knowledge. And the Muslims, in order to do that, they bring you a quotation from scientific videos. As an example, somebody speak about the art, <coughs> uh, the, how the hive is built by the the uh, by the bees, and how amazing it is. But what does it have to do with Islam? No, they use that to convince you that they are using science. It's a pure science, not a personal. <laughs> nothing personal. And this is exactly today what we will do, ex ex except we will not lie. Nothing personal. <clears throat> so we are going to expose the lies. They come to us with it. And nothing personal. So don't be upset, Muslims, from what you will see and how bad the exposure will be nothing personal my friend I hope you understand you know sometimes I ask myself do the Muslims even like consider second thought before they open their mouth about science and the Quran I mean do you even think about it before you say it I don't think so because anyone have little brain can go and check out and he will find that everything you said is true or false as simple as that I mean you do not need to be genius so let us go and start let us go to business <clears throat> business is business all right if we go I wish I can play videos for you because Muslims they have tons of videos by the way about the miracle of the Quran the bees miracles I'm not going to play them so they don't flag me for copyright issue. Uh, you know them. They, they, they are waiting for it. <laughs> yeah. 
Oh boy. Anyway, let us go and see the first lie. <clears throat> the Surah on the Honeybees. Da -da -da -da. This post is also available in German, Albanian, Kurdish, Turkish, Munkish, Silfish, Bookish, Fushfish, whatever fish. It doesn't matter. We are going to get you busted. You can read. I'm not going to read. It. You can freeze the screen. Take your time later. All right. And you can take your time and read. <clears throat> However, to make it simple about what they are saying here is here in this uh, table. They said, what is the number of the surah? 16. Okay. How many verses does the surah, uh, the honeybees have? 128. Okay. The number of the chromosome of the male honeybees, 16. Okay. The number of the chromosome of the female honeybee, 32. Okay. <laughs> now, I want to see who of you had my book already and he know the answer. Who of you? Or maybe you don't even have my book, but you are smart. Who, who of you want to help me here? How we can get them busted? As easy as brushing your teeth. Who want to help me? How we get them busted? What is the lie? What is the lie in this table in front of us? Anyone knows? Nobody knows? There is something rare in front of you. There is something. <clears throat> Nobody notice? Okay. Well, this is why Christian Prince is created, because he notice. All right. First of all, the Muslims, they lie to us when they said in the start, that the number of the surah, the honeybee or a nahl, is 16. Why it's a lie? Who want to give me an answer? Why it's a lie? How we know it's a lie? If we go in the Quran, the Muslims they have today, it is 16. So they did not lie. But the Quran was not revealed in the Muslims as they have it today. This is how Uthman ibn Affan, he made the Quran. So what is the miracle? Uthman made a miracle? If we go to the original Quran, which the Muslims agree, not me, that this is how it was revealed. What is the true number for the chapter of An-Nahl, which means the honeybees? Let us do that and check it out. Shall we? All right. This is the Quran by the order of revelation. Here it says revelation order. Revelation what? Order. Here, surah number. What does that mean? That means this is how the Quran was sent as revelation order. Chapter number one is Al Alaq. In the Quran today is 96. Did you get the idea? So now the Quran have two orders have the order as it was revealed supposedly by the God of Islam, Allah. And they have the Quran as it was revealed by the God, Uthman, the Caliphate. <laughs> so, so based on Allah revealing numbers, what is the number of this chapter? It is chapter 102. Chapter 102 is number 16. So if we take the number 102, that will change the number and will change the chapter because this is the chapter of Attakathur. has nothing to do with the chapter of the bees. And then all the miracle is destroyed. Or what they call it, uh, it's not a consequence. It's not a consequence. So do you see how they fool you? They try to fool you. If you are a person who don't have knowledge, 
you will not notice that this is stupid because okay let us say this is true uh, but you know what uh, the quran is not the way it's sent you see and I'm, I'm not even showing you a, a christian website in case you're not you know i mean you can go and search right now this is the website it's called mission in islam do you see the website my friends if you are a muslim do you see it you can go check yourself type in google quran by the order of revelation and you will find this list this list is accepted by muslims done by muslims preserved by muslims i have nothing to do with it so the numbers of those location of those chapters is a fabrication this is what Uthman ibn Affan he did number two lie we are not done yet who said we are done I mean come on there's no way Christian Prince he will find uh, you know one problem here how many verses does the surah the honeybees have you know what I'm going to go uh, let me do this excuse me Excuse me, guys. Don't forget to invite your friends. If you are a Muslim, invite your four wives. We don't have many people here yet because people don't expect me to be here early, right? <clears throat> All right. Let us search the Quran. All right. Actually, let us go to the other website. Other website is better. Mm -hmm. Chapter 16 of the Quran. verse number one now we go to the last verse the last verse is 128 128 okay we go back here in the table what the muslims they did they said 16 x 8 is 128 mm. And what does that mean exactly? What is the number eight here is doing? You know what I mean? Shouldn't you tell me what is eight is doing here? Well, so what what sixteen and eighteen me doing? So that the first one we found that this one is a lie and that will destroy everything. But we wanna we wanna do more examination. You know this uh, the the always already we we destroyed the whole numbers. But here, I can divide this to any number to try to match it with something. May 8, 16, you know, I can divide it to uh, 4. I can, so why 16 and why 8, you know, just to, they want to tell you that it is the, uh, you know, the, the, the count number, it is the multiply of number 128. But that is not what go anymore because here it's not 16. Here it's 102. It is. So in order now to make this as a miracle, we have to fix this number here. And we have to change the calculation. So now we have the number is 102. How what we can do? I will help the Muslims. <clears throat> you see, I always like to help the Muslims to create a new miracle. So now in order to solve this problem, let us see 102. 102. And then we say, okay, what we have now, we have six. Uh, uh, so hold on. Uh, one, uh, one, twenty-eight. Huh? Minus one o two is twenty-six. So now we can say, okay, one, uh, one o two is. Um, uh, plus 26 that will make it 28 128 amazing here we go we have a miracle all right let us type this i mean who can do miracle like christian prince nobody here we go so now brother sisters if you notice with me 102 plus 
Hold on. 26 will make 128. Allahu Akbar. How Allah can do that? <laughs> now the number of the chromosome is 16. So how we can solve this issue now? Because the number 102 change everything. Let us try to find a solution, my friend. Hold on. So if we say uh, uh, 102, uh, no, hold on. Uh, uh, 102, 102 uh, divided to 16. Let us see. Maybe we can get a number. Uh, brother, I just found that if we divide 102 to 16, we will get the following. Amazing miracle. Beautiful. Very beautiful. The number will be 102 divided to 16. That is equal to 6, 3, 7, 5. Actually, we have to put a dot here. Okay, amazing, beautiful, beautiful, brother, beautiful. Here we go. How silly that, how stupid that is. So we find that everything in this miracle is a joke. There's no miracle there. It's just a false fiction. To the first one, we discover in two seconds that it is false. Because if the one who made the miracle is God, then we can say this is a miracle from God. But if the one who organized the Quran the way it is today is Uthman, that means Uthman is God. And Uthman was correcting and fixing the error of Allah. So he can make a miracle. You know what I mean, guys? Are you getting the idea? If Allah is the one who made it chapter 102, Uthman is the one who made it a chapter 16 who deserved the prize of this miracle Uthman that's mean Uthman is the true God of Islam let us worship Uthman Uthman yeah Uthman you are Allah Uthman let us worship you Uthman you change the numbers Uthman you must be God Uthman let us do belly dance in Uthman what the heck with this Uthman it looked like Uthman is a lot better with mathematics from the stupid Allah I mean, there is a huge difference between 102 and 16. I mean, Allah did not miss even like for some, like you see, if Allah he made it 17 and it was 16, I would say he missed only one number. The error is one. I mean, come on, we can let it go. But there's a huge difference from 102 to 16. That's too much. So at the conclusion of this miracle, we need to send Allah back to school. He have a problem. All right. Now, this is the first miracle. We find that it is a shish kebab falafel. There's nothing there. Let us see the other miracle. What is the other miracle? Are you serious? There's other miracle? Yes, brother. Brother, yes, there is a miracle. Hold on. <laughs> Look, I search. It says, the hand, the honeybee's amazing architect, architect, architecture. What is that? You know, the scientists, they say it's amazing how the honeybees, they make the architect of their houses. So, what does this have to do with Islam? What does this have to do with Islam? Let us see. Don't you guys, don't you want to see? Don't you want to see? Let us see. Islam city. No, oh, this, uh, this text is how we can read this. Let us find different uh, different site which is easier to read. Um, okay, hold on. We need to add the word Quran. Quran miracle, my friend. You did not add in the search engine. We can laugh. Quran miracle. Okay, Quran miracle. Doctor Zakir Naik honeybees. Let us see Dr. Zakir Naik and Ibiz, man. I mean, are you kidding me? Oh, this is a video. We cannot play video. <laughs> Look at this guy. 
I mean, God, God, why you did not make me have a beard like this? I mean, seriously. Why I am not lucky? I put fertilizer to grow it is not a growing. I put hairy, a hairy grow is not a growing. I mean, how I can prove to people that I am a sheikh and I have a knowledge if I don't have a beard? Mm, all right. Let us go. We cannot play a video. Sorry. Uh, let us see. We need to find a site. Uh, here we go. We found. Here we go. We found a site. Amazing. Oh, this is uh, pictures. We don't want that, man. What is this? Uh, people on Facebook, uh, you know, uh, don't hesitate, please, to share. Harun Yahya, this is the guy, by the way. He uh, his TV station is stopped by the by the Erdogan. Uh, anyone knows why Harun Yahya his TV station is stopped by Erdogan? <laughs> this is the founder. <laughs> <laughs> Hold on, let me show you why. This is the founder of the miracles of Islam. All those science coming from him. The rest they were like just copy paste. Hold on, let me find you before we speak about the miracle here. Let me find you something funny. Harun. Yeah, yeah. All right. Harun TV station. Okay, let's see. Uh, his real name is Adnan Oktar. His real name is Adnan Oktar. This guy, the founder of the Islamic science, let me show you in the screen hold on he have a very beautiful program and actually I'm thinking seriously to make a program like this but sadly I'm not rich I mean this is need money I mean need a lot of money he bring very beautiful very beautiful girls wearing almost no clothes to his show and they do shake it shake it in his yacht Look, look at look at this scientist guys. Look how many TV, how many tablet in front of him. And look at those beautiful, amazing huri. Those are the huri of Allah. This is the guy, the founder of the Islamic science in the world. I mean, why? Why? Why I'm not a Muslim and why I don't live in Turkey and why I don't have money and why I am not the first one who did the Islamic science so I can get those girls. Unbelievable. I want to go there. Guys, I have to go. Sorry. I have to go. I mean, I, I, I'm going to go and buy a, a, a ticket right now around the trip to Turkey. Look at this, guys. Look at this. And look how cons look how conservative those girls are. Did you notice here she is wearing hijab? Did you notice this book, this picture, this girl in the picture? She is wearing hijab. I mean, look how conservative she is. She is covering her face. He is a truly, truly conservative. And you know, look at this, man. Look at this. Now you now he is he get those girls with big boobs, excuse me, because he want to explain to you why the Quran have a chapters that women she have to give her boobs to a stranger. He is the stranger, she got the boobs. The problem is solved. It's halal. Look at this one. I mean, if you don't believe in the miracles of Allah, you better believe immediately. Stop. How dare you not to believe in this miracle? Look at this, man. This is a miracle. And look again, she is wearing hijab. She is covering her face. Who can, I mean, who can really, seriously, 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 between me and you, can you deny this miracle? You cannot. We cannot. I mean, this is amazing. Uh, actually, I made a mistake. Look how many people are saying in the text, we want to convert to Islam immediately, especially men. Look at this, man. Look at this. Oh, oh no. I got to go. I cannot handle it no more. Sorry. I, I am a, a, a guys, I'm single. Sorry. I have to fly to Turkey immediately. Who want to donate for me so I can buy a ticket to Turkey? Anyone?
I mean, this is so beautiful, man. Now we go back to the miracle. The founder of this miracle is, <laughs> is this guy. Now we go back to the miracle itself. Let us see the miracle. All right. The miracle. Which one? Okay. Harun Yahya B's superior architectural ability. Okay. Let us see what this is a miracle here. So this is the website of the conservative Sheikh Harun Yahya and his girls. What is he is saying here? When it's come to the making, etc., hexagon with an exact angle, uh, angle, sorry, of 109 degree and the 20 uh, minutes, one would need to compass compass and set square etc okay, what would this have to do with the Quran go to the business where is the verse give me the verse give me the verse and I will I will beat you <laughs> your Lord revealed to the honeybees build the dwelling in the mountain and trees and also the structure which mean erect then eat uh, uh, every kind of a fruit and travel the bath of your Lord hmm with those numbers there's any Muslim can tell me who is the Muslim will tell me what 70 degree and 30 32 minute and uh, 13 degrees and 90 degree and 28 degrees and 109 degrees have to do with the Quran this verse actually proving to us that the one who made this chapter is an idiot let us go and read the chapter carefully shall we okay this is the chapter he is mentioning, chapter 16, verse number 68. Okay, let us go. Actually, let us go to other website because when I see the verse after this one, give us only one verse at a time. We want, we want, uh, we want to read all the verses. So the Muslim, they will not say, say uh, you are taking it out of context or, you know, the meaning. So let us see. <coughs> Uh, please guys invite your friends because today after at the end of this uh, session we are going to give two kilograms of bees not honey you know we give you bees they make your honey for you and we will tell you how the quran explained the honey of the bees coming from where all right <clears throat> switch to arabic all right so those are the verses we are going to zoom out so you guys can read better. All right. Chapter 16, verse number 68. In here, in this website, he quote how many verses? Let us see. Hold on. Just to be sure. Okay. He quote for us from 68 to 6 and 69. So we will take exactly as he took. 68 and 69. So let us go here. Yosef Ali. All right. And the Lord taught the bees to build its cells in hills and on trees in men habitation. Okay, if we go and check this translation with the translation of uh, Mr. Harun Yahya, we will find something uh, not right there. Read with me here. Your Lord revealed to the honeybees build dwelling in the mountains and trees and also structure. 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 Which mean re erect? Uh, I know. Uh, I mean, uh, where is the structure? Okay, no problem. Uh, maybe it's just a wrong translation. You know, he don't mean anything. Anyway, then and read here with me how stupid the Quran is. Allah now is doing poopoo. -poo. This is literally poopoo. -poo. Then to eat of all the product of the earth. And you know the Muslim they might say to me uh, well you are reading a translation we don't accept we can change it hmm? if we go back to the Arabic we will find the following and we will change the translation so the Muslim will not say we are making things up it says in Arabic oh hold on it says here 
ثم كلي من كل الثمرات and then eat from all the fruits the muslim translation is absolutely false where is the fruit it says thamarat and then the quran continues saying and then a liquid come from its belly all right what does that mean let us see different translation here we go this guy he got it right then eat of all the fruits or fruits and follow the ways of the lord made smooth for thee there come forth from their bellies a drink diverse of the use and wherein is healing for mankind who of you here can tell me where is the error here anyone can tell me what is the error in this verse a horrible error Anyone can tell me? What is the horrible error? As long as we are talking about science, then we have to be scientific. This is very stupid. Anyone knows where is the stupidity here? Who noticed the stupidity here? Let us see people in Facebook if they have any notice. Hey, people in Facebook, did you notice something wrong here? Wake up, wake up, people in Facebook. The ghost guys are sleeping, you know. Share, please share the page with your friends. Who of you noticed with me the error? There's a very bad scientific error there. Nobody knows? The flower, not the fruit. Mm. Someone of you, he says, the flower, not the fruit. I don't agree with you. I don't agree with you. Uh... But you are getting closer. You are getting cl eat fruits. Okay. Do bees eat the fruits? Do really they eat the fruits? According to the Quran, Allah explain how honey make is made. The bees eat the fruit and then it come out of their belly. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy <laughs> do you know what does that mean exactly do you know what does that mean Muslims do you know what does that mean your God Allah claiming claiming not me that the, the bees eat honey and sorry eat fruit and shit honey Show respect these come on show respect this is the book of God so your God explaining how the honey is made those bees they eat fruits and then from their belly they shit and they shit honey and we drink the honey so we eat their shit of the bees but the fact the bees they eat the honey they don't eat the fruits <laughs> oh boy oh boy i don't know what to say i mean i'm, I'm, I'm really I'm, i was almost almost i was going to convert to islam almost almost i'm very close uh, to be honest with you very very close i mean look at this miracle how how allah he knew this the founder of the quran we think that the honey is something the bees don't need. They, they ate already. They ate what? They ate the fruits. And now they are shitting the bee, the, the honey. <laughs> Let us call Zach and Mike. Oh boy. I hope he's awake. Assalamu alaikum, uh, brother Zakanaik. I sorry I did wake you up. 
Uh, it's okay. I was going to wake up to pray. I could not really sleep because the beast, the beast is dead. <laughs> Who did? Uh, uh, this is. Uh, I, I prefer not to say my name, please. Okay. What the what the question? Uh, brother, the Quran speak about how the honey is made. Is it true that the Quran says that Allah He said to the bees eat the fruit and shed the honey? <coughs> brother Sitter, this question. All would come from a guy you can find him in the internet. His name is the Christian Prince. First of all, that guy is not a scholar, he don't even know how to speak Arabic. I am a person coming from Bangladesh, still I speak better Arabic than him. Yes, he's an Arab, but he's a fake one. Uh, uh, Brother Zakir Naik, this is another question. Now we want to know what Allah has said in the verse in the Quran about you know the bees and the honey. Listen to me. Honey can be made in many ways. As an example, if you have four beautiful wives, in the morning, if you give her a gift, she said to you, honey. If you don't give her a gift, she give you she give you shit. <laughs> Zach and Mike, this is not a question. I'm not talking about four wives and honey of wives and shit of the wife. I'm talking about bees. Bees, brother. I get you, I get you. Okay. The logic is that Allah is given us a simulation how the bees they go travel and they eat and then they come back to the hives and then they make the honey but brother the Quran saying that they eat the fruits it doesn't say they eat the honey and then the honey come from their belly according to science human have a belly and bees they have a belly however it's found lately Long, long, long time ago, nobody knows it. That the human being have one belly and the bees have two bellies. How many bellies do you have? My friend Billy Jensen, I know him, but this is not the question. He is saying that they eat, they eat the fruits, not the honey. And this is wrong because the honey is what they eat. Listen to me, listen to me. Don't be stubborn. I think you are an atheist. I'm not, listen to me. The bees, the bees. They eat from the fruit, yes, but they like they like when you go and you chew, like, mm, but you don't really eat it the same as the cow. Mm, huh? And then you come home, and then what you do, you take it off. But this is what the Quran is saying. The Quran says they eat the fruit, and then the honey comes from their belly. But the honey never comes from the belly, it comes from their tongue. The bees. They make the honey, they process the honey. There's two kinds of bees. There's one is the one go and collect the nectar, and there's one who's making the bees, and they are different bees. Here it says they eat. Do you know what the word eat mean? It means it's eaten already. It's consumed already. Do you have any answers I can make? Anyway, in discovery about this, how many chromosome in the ants? How many chromosome? Uh, uh, Zach and I, Christian Prince, he answered this. The chapter is not even 16, it's 102. And what this to do have to do with the question I'm asking you? I'm asking you about the bees eating the honey. Okay, let me ask you. Today, we have a president in the White House. His name is Trump. How do you explain to me that Trump was dating a hooker? Zach and I, what this to do with the bees and the honey? I'm coming to you. I'm coming to you with the answer. Do you know how many times this hooker she said to Mr. Trump, honey? And do you know that he used, maybe used to kiss the honey from her belly? And this is again confirmed in the Quran. It says it's coming from her belly. It's obvious. Thank you very much. Don't call me again. <laughs> what the heck? I mean, I'm really convinced. I'm so convinced, man. What is that? That's pure science. Who, how you can, you cannot reject Islam, to be honest with you. So my friend, when the Muslim, they speak about honey and bees and miracle in the Quran, this is stupid. There is no miracle there. It's a stupid. This God, he thinks that the, he, the honey of the bees is their shit. This is a shitty verse. Excuse my language. What is the science here? Do we have uh, any uh, any Muslim? 
Do we have any believer here? You have Abdul in YouTube. He want to call. Hold on. Let me turn my my uh, my. Uh, okay, my Skype on. There is somebody want to call me, guys. Hold on. I can't wait. Actually, it's hard to believe. Even my mom is not calling me. I mean, Abdul, when I... <clears throat> let us see if this is true. Okay, is the Skype coming off? All right, let us... Uh... Okay. Give me a second, please. I will be with you. Immediately. I'm just logging in Skype. All right. My friend, if you like to call me, feel free. All right. If there is a Muslim who would like to call, please feel free. All right. Who is the Muslim would like to call? Please feel free, call me immediately. I'm here. And you can call us now. The, uh, the Skype is uh, is on. Uh, anyway, you know, uh, the 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 issue is with the Muslims because they have a religion which is based on nothing. So they try to make miracles out of nothing. Suddenly, they are talking about the chromosome. You know, like when 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 we saw we showed them Muhammad is speaking about if a woman have orgasm first, the baby will be. A girl if the man have orgasm first the baby will be a boy the Muslim they make they add in the hadith the or the, the chromosome but there is no chromosome there all what Muhammad is saying whoever come first the baby will be resembling him and this is very clear suddenly they try to make it about a chromosome where we can find the chromosome the same they do in the ants the same they do with the bees oh Lord have mercy Let us see. All right. The messenger of Allah said, "The man water is thick and the white, and white, and the women water is thin and yellow. Whichever." Whichever of them comes first the child will resemble the parents if you go and see the Muslim trying to explain this stupidity They will say to you "Oh, the Prophet here is speaking about the chromosome Even that explanation is false Because according to science it is the male Sperm who decide if it's a male or a female Is that correct? So the science of Islam is a chain of stupidity, but yet the Muslim try to make what is stupid to look like it is science. But that will not work with us. By the way, oh, hold on, there's no screen. Sorry, it's my mistake. I always do this mistake. You know what happened to you when you get old? I mean, put yourself in my shoe. I am right now 19 years old. I mean, can you imagine how old I am? My mom is 17. So when you get older, I mean, here we go. I forgot the screen is off and I'm talking to you about what is in the screen. I mean, by the way, don't forget to watch the video I made yesterday. It's in, it's in Skype. Uh, not Skype, I mean, in the Facebook. I could not. You see, yesterday I told you, follow me in Facebook because when I'm going to play a video of Muslims, I don't use face, uh, uh, YouTube. So I had, I had no choice but to use the video of the Muslim. So go there and download the video from there. All right? 
you can go to Patreon and you can click and watch it from Patreon just to find it easy. It is the video before this our video today. So as you see, the smart genius Muhammad claiming that if the man have orgasm first, the baby will be a boy. And now I know exactly what happened between my dad and my mom. I mean, <laughs> dad, I know exactly what you did. <laughs> mom, I know exactly what was happening. Oh, boy. I mean, I wasn't in the bedroom when they did it. But now we know exactly all the news. If you are a male, obviously, based on the science of Dr. Muhammad, who have a laboratory in the heaven of Allah, he claim whoever come first the baby will resemble him this is why if i ever get married ever 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 if any women i mean if maybe if i win the lotto i will find someone to marry me i mean you have uh, you have to convince them what you can do whoever come first if i ever get married i will never come first because then the baby will look like me man i mean this is not he will hate me my son will hate me like what i did to you why 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 for the sake of allah leg like, why so my friend, if you don't, if you are not good looking like me, don't ever come first. <laughs> Let your wife come first for sake of God. <laughs> don't do that to your son. Let your son come with good looking. I mean, come on, be fair. <laughs> your, son, your son will hate you, all right? Oh boy. I mean, this is science. This is science. this is this is amazing. This is beautiful. Who can reject this? Nobody. 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 No. Nobody. No. Nobody. No. Nobody. 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 No. Like the prophet. Nobody. No. Nobody. Nobody. No. Nobody. No. Nobody, no, nobody. The prophet, he got everything from his God. So if the prophet now, he is a professor, and who deserves to be a professor in any Islamic school more than the prophet Muhammad, peace upon him? What the prophet will teach in his class? Hmm? Today, we are going to teach you how you are made. The science of God. Your father and your mother, now they are having sexual intercourse. Your father working hard. Your mother is not even there. <laughs> Commercial break. If you have a problem or difficulty with your sexual drive, please call the phone number of Allah because He is the only God who did send a dish of shish kebab for the sexual enhancement. <laughs> I mean, even even the Prophet, when he have a sexual problem with his private part, he invoke Allah, and Allah, what he did, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. If any Muslim here is listening, you don't believe it. I can show you the reference. No kidding. I mean, the Muslim they say to us that if God wants to say to do something, he say B is going to be. Well, Allah did not say B, he sent him a dish of shish kebab. Where is the B? And supposedly, after Muhammad he ate the dish of shish kebab, it's called al kufayt in Arabic, coming from Kufta. You know Kufta. <laughs> after he ate al kufayt he got the power of 40 men. Guys. This is true. After the Prophet, he ate this kufayt. He was like, Prophet, you want to take a break? No, I cannot. The Prophet cannot stop. He got he ate the dish of shish kebab made by Allah. Are you kidding me? He got the power of 40 men. I'm not sure how they measure the power of the prophet by 40 men. Like, did they have like a, a race of sex? Like, there's 40 men having sex and the prophet in competition, and he beat them all. <laughs> Unbelievable. This is a true story. So here we see a lot of science. 
and you cannot deny such a science we have to be honest here how the prophet he knew this how he knew that if the mind if the man confers the baby will be a boy if the woman confers the baby will be a girl how he knew in the chapter 86 verse number six and seven that the sperm of the man came in from the backbone huh how he knew that that's astonishing how he knew that women have a sperm coming from the ribs if you notice guys all women they like to have big breast I will tell you why I'm seriously I will tell you why but don't tell that to anyone this is between us okay secretly okay okay now I told you because the topic is R rated so I cannot really the the the, 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 the monitor control they put me in a mute <laughs> <laughs> Unbelievable. Women they have a sperm coming from the upper side of their ribs. Are you sure, Muhammad? Are you sure? I mean, how you do that? This guy, and by the way, did I show you the Muslim translation for the upper ribs thing? The Muslim changed the translation of the verse and they said that Allah he said he made him he, he created us from uh, steel and cement <laughs> They took off the backbone and they took off the ribs and now it is a steel and cement <laughs> I love it because they somebody of uh, those scientists claim that the 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 source of a creation is steel and cement so those muslims they have to adopt the new theory they left the big bang now <laughs> i love it i love it i, I want to be a muslim i want to be a muslim i cannot resist this is amazing chapter 86 verse number six there is the response is he who was created you from gushing fluid gushing forth from the man and the women into the womb the fluid is gushing to the womb are you sure okay then and it's gushing from both and verse number seven Allah he make it even more clear issuing from between the backbone of the man and the breast bones of the women Ta -da -da. hey Abraham why you don't call me Abraham Guys, Abraham is a person who say I am a person who is lying to you. Why Abraham don't call me and get me busted? What do you think, guys? What do you think? Abraham is a Muslim who always don't believe in what I say. Wait, wait, wait. Abraham, Abraham, he said something in the text in the previous video. Hold on, hold on. Let me get it. Hold on, hold on, hold on. I mean, Abraham is my favorite customer now. We have to replace we, we, we got to replace uh hold on i will answer you rahman um where this guy he post let us see where he posted abram abram <coughs> okay Christian Prince lies okay hold on guys I will show you what this guy he said one by one let us see what he said about Christian Prince lies Christian Prince lies about dogs in Arabia Arab are proud of their dogs the Suki the Sulki dogs native of Arabia okay hold on let me let me copy let me copy what Abraham said <clears throat> Guys, this is what Abraham said, not me. I have nothing to do with it. I did lie to you, according to Mr. Abraham, about Islam ordering to kill dogs, and dogs are not allowed to be in the city of Mecca and Medina. Okay, hold on. Do you see it? This is what Abraham said. I, I, have, I have nothing to do with it. I have nothing to do with it. Now, Abraham, in front of everybody, are you are you brave enough to call me and to challenge me to prove what I said? And you prove what you said. What do you do? <clears throat> uh, do you have the courage? 
Be honest. Here we go. Now it's your chance to get me busted. What do you say? Guys, if this guy is honest and he is a truthful, then he have to take the opportunity as long as you just got something against Christian Prince. Christian Prince, he lie and you have a proof. Call me right now. I'm waiting. Don't waste my time. Come on. What do you say? So you don't want to call me? Okay, who okay. cares? Coward. We have your prophet will get you busted. <clears throat> If the Arab are proud about their dogs, I mean Arab are Arab, and I am an Arab, I have no problem to have a dog. But your prophet have a problem. Okay. Uh, read with me. The Messenger of Allah order us to kill dogs. And we carried out the order so much so that we also killed the dogs coming with the women from the desert. Allah Apostle forbid us their killing. Those are people in the desert. Those are not in his city. The Holy Prophet Father said, if there is or it is your duty, the jet black dog. So Muhammad, he claimed now, he, in the, uh, he ordered to kill all the dogs and the Muslim they start carrying the killing for everybody and this is based on this hadith remember this is the hadith saying that not me then the Prophet he adjust that we kill all the dogs which is jet black if you are saying to me that your Prophet don't order to kill all the dogs only the jet black that make him even more ugly and disgusting however he ordered to kill all the dogs in the city of Mecca and Medina. Let us continue. <clears throat> All right. Mm -hmm. Uh, you see here you try to find you want to find the fasting okay hold on <coughs> and you notice that this guy he will not call in I don't know why. Let us see. The Messenger of Allah commanded that all dogs to be killed except the dog used for hunting or harding livestock. So Muhammad, he ordered all dogs to be killed except the working dog. So who did lie? Do you see it? Now I challenge you to tell me why we kill all the dogs. And I will show you something even more ugly. 
Are you there, Abraham? Why your prophet he ordered to kill all the dogs? So if a if a woman she have a funny dog, cute dog, little dog, according to Islam, he have to die. Let us find you one. <clears throat> this dog is the enemy of Allah. According to your prophet, he have to die. Why? Do you see, guys? Um, I'm going with this guy claim that in Islam, we don't kill all the dogs. No, it does say it's kill all the dogs. When the people start complaining because Muhammad is a madman who is against dogs, Muhammad, he have no choice but to allow them to have dogs only if it's a working dog because people they need it for the shepherd need it, the farmer need it, everybody need a dog. The, the one who is have that the dog is your friend. What's wrong with the dog? But because Muhammad, he told them that dogs are filthy, are disgusting, are nudges, and even he said they are devil. And obviously. The dogs they hate Muhammad. You know, the dogs they have a special sensation, they can feel the evil person. They can feel that, they can feel your energy. And obviously, Muhammad he could not find one dog he liked him, for he was an evil man. So he ordered to kill all the dogs. So why you want to kill this dog? Give me a reason. Are you there? When you're a prophet, said kill all the dogs and then he changed his mind saying okay except except because people they complain except the working dogs why do they want to kill this dog what what the problem between this dog and Allah can you tell me well actually okay guys he got to router and you see he just he just convinced us that he's a liar because he just said he got two guarding dogs he got two guarding dogs and let me tell you Allah will take from your deeds for every day you have a dog in your home. Is that correct, Abraham or Abraham? Let me show you the hadith. <clears throat> for every day you have a dog. Allah will take from your deeds, from your good deeds, a big amount. Let us read together. So now you are bankrupt. <clears throat> the Messenger of Allah said, He who keeps dogs will lose out of his good deeds equal to one qirat a day <laughs> except the guardian dogs and the, uh, uh, for the field or the herd so if you have it in your home still Allah will take it from your deeds do you see it and this is agreed upon all the Muslims agree about that so Allah he have an account for you of your good deeds for every day you host a dog in your house Allah will take from your good deeds one qirat how you answer that Mr. Abraham how you answer the stupidity why does God why does God will take from your deeds one qirat for hosting a dog any Muslim can answer what the problem what is the problem between Allah and dogs Anyone? <clears throat> okay, we will change the topic for a second just to answer uh, our friend here uh, who left Islam, if you remember him, without saying his name. Uh, he says, CP, in the Bible, if Jesus was circumcised, do Christians also have to be circumcised like Jesus? You see, <clears throat> Jesus taught us, Jesus was circumcised when he was a child. This is the tradition of the Jews. And remember, he is born of a Jewish family. So this was a tradition. And 
he as born of a Jewish family they do circumcise however Jesus taught us that it is not your body will make you dirty for God it's what you do and that makes sense you know if you ask yourself if there is a person who is a homeless he did not take a shower for a year he smelled disgusting but this person he never hurt anyone he never say a bad language and there is a person who grow a beard who claim to be a bishop or a priest or a sheikh for the Muslims but yet he is a child molester which one is a is a is more close to God what do you think guys who is more close to God the homeless the poor who did not take a shower for a year who stink or the one who put perfume and drive a nice car and he say he is a priest or a bishop or a sheikh but yet he's a child molester obviously the poor one so Jesus said it clearly it's not what come from your what come inside your mouth will make you dirty it's what come from your mouth and that make perfect sense uh, you know uh, uh, Muhammad was trying to copy the Jews <clears throat> Muhammad was trying to copy the Jews and everything. So the Jews, they do circumcision. <clears throat> Muhammad said, do circumcision. But the question is, why Muhammad did not do circumcision? Any Muslim can tell us? Why Muhammad, he ordered the Muslims to do circumcision, but yet he himself did not do circumcision? Who is the Muslim? Want to tell me why? No answer. Any Muslim want to tell us why in the text? Why Muhammad did not do circumcision? If circumcision is important and must for Muslims, is Muhammad a Muslim or not? Maybe he was a Hindu. Okay, I hope I didn't answer you. So in Christianity, in Christianity, nobody is stopping you, by the way. If you want to do circumcision, do circumcision. This is not a problem. The problem is that circumcision is exist in the old days because people they can the 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 uh, uh, you know the, your your life can be threatened more because of the dirt. People they cannot take a shower every day. Not like now, you know. I I can finish now my uh, my speech to you and I jump in my shower and take a shower. This is how easy it is. In the time of your grandfather, not long time ago, if you live in the Middle East, you will know how difficult it is to take a shower. Especially if you live in a, in a cold area in the winter time, you have to heat the water. You have to get containers. You have a big family. How you can how you can heat all this water? The room they, they take a shower in their bedroom. They don't have even a bathroom. They have to 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 get the the water from the well, not from the faucet. So taking a shower is very tough. And if you are a person who live in a dry area, that will make it even more hard because water now is priceless. So people, they get infected with diseases. People live in the desert. People, they, they, you know, there's no medicine. The medicine they use is just what they learn from the nature around them, not like today. So that is an area which can be infected very easy. Like if you don't wash yourself for a few days and you... Right? Actually, not a few days, just a day. So that was for a reason, for a health reason. Otherwise, God he is the one who made you with that, with that, with that peace in your body. He is the one who made you. The funny, the Muhammadan, they say it is haram to change the way Allah He look, or He made you look like. This is why Muhammad He said that Allah will curse any woman she take hair from her eyebrows. How that can be how we are <clears throat> here we go read with me carefully the women Ibn Abbas said the women who supply fake hair and the one who asks for it the women who pulls out hair pulls out hair from where from her face 
for other people and the women who did uh, the, the plates hate herself which means if a woman take care from herself the women who do tattoos and the women who done the tattoos etc the women that's mean explaining give me Dawood Abu Dawood he said meaning the women who adds false hair to the hair of women and Mustawsila mean the one who asked for adding hair to her hair and Namisa means a woman who blocks hair from her brow bro until she make it thin Mutanamisa mean a woman who uh, depletes de de herself so all of those all of those women who take hair from their body or they add hair to their body Allah he curse them okay what is the so what is the reason for that the Muslim they will say to you right away for they are changing you are changing the way Allah he made you so how you accept circumcision then you know what I mean if circumcision if circumcision is around in Islam and obviously he is copying the Jews and if taking hair from the face of the women or adding hair is a change the way Allah he made you look like how then circumcision is approved taking hair from the face of the women is haram Allah he liked to see a woman she have a beard and the women circumcision because Muslim remember they circumcise even women actually they, they cut everything so the women she can't enjoy any any sexual relationship ever this is why all Muslim women when they have sex with their husband they don't enjoy sex because sex have no you know it's like you know I don't want to speak uh, a filthy language but you know the, the clitoris of the women is the same as the private part of the man so when you cut it the women she lose her joy so the women and Muslim women when she get married from a man she is just receiving she is not enjoying because Islam kill her joy and I will give you more details in my coming book which is called what is going to be called sex and Allah so you know Islam is upside down Muhammad is trying to copy somebody else religion in the same time he is trying to be his own prophet so he copy from others and he create his own rules in the same time like the rules of the dogs obviously he hate dogs so he want to kill them but dogs are the best friend for mankind since thousands and thousands of years dogs are good to mankind why we want to kill them that because he is a sick man who is trying to justify <clears throat> and look what look how Muhammad he justified killing as an example dogs even by color not only he killed dogs not only he says that if you have a dog Allah will take from your deeds which is very stupid even he justify killing dogs based on the color and the color of the black dog is the most evil color for Muslims not only by the way the black dog any animal is a black should be killed including horse cat read me <clears throat> that the message of Allah said if 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 it were not that the dogs were part of nation among the nation then I would order to that all of them to be killed all of them this is the wish of Muhammad this is how much he hate dogs do you see do, do I need to prove it more Muhammad saying if not because why he have a verse in the Quran says that all animals are Muslims <laughs> And all animals Allah gave them Quran and Allah will gather them in the judgment day and he will judge between them you know if you go in the Quran <clears throat> you will see the smart Muhammad saying the following
وما من دابة في الأرض ولا طائر يطير بجناحيه إلا أمم أمثالكم. Chapter six, verse number thirty-eight. What does that mean? All animals are nations like you, and they are Muslims, including cockroaches, pigs, and did he want to kill the pigs? But they are Muslims, according to Muhammad. There is not an animal that lives in this earth, nor being that flees on its wing. But the form of community like you, nothing we have omitted from the book, and they all shall gather to their Lord. So what Muhammad he teach Muslims that animals are Muslims too, and they practice Sharia law. This is why if you go in the hadith, you will find stupid stories as the following. That a female monkey, she committed adultery, and she was stoned to death by the fellow monkeys because those monkeys are Muslims. This is how the Muslims explain monkeys are throwing rocks. They think that they are practicing Sharia law. And Muhammad confirmed that in the Quran that all animals are Muslims and they practice Sharia law. And imagine we are talking about a cult belief that monkey she committed she was killed by stoning to death because she did what it's called read with me because it had committed illegal sexual intercourse i too stoned it along with them This is a religion. This is a religion. So Muhammad in that hadith saying that dogs are any a community like us, and they will be judged in the judgment day, as we showed you in the verse in the Quran. Animals are Muslims. And Allah will gather them in the judgment day. Actually, even the chapter name. The chapter name Al An'am is the chapter mean and the animals. This is what the chapter mean. So Muhammad he said, and actually in different hadith, Muhammad he said that Allah was going to judge between two goats in the judgment day. Two goats. God will judge by between goats. Yes, that's what the Muslims believe. So Muhammad here in the hadith saying, if not, if not, the dogs are Muslims like us. And they are nation like us then I would order to that all of them be killed this is how much hate this person he have to dogs and that very very clear and can be explained very easy for he is an evil man and he will always evil ones dogs hate them dogs they can sense things we cannot sense And because Muhammad is racist at the end of the day, he made an exception at the end. He says, okay, you know what? Look like if I kill all the dogs, people will go against me because people love dogs and dogs love people. So I have to change it. I have to make it kill any dog who is black. And you will notice here, he said, Kill of them, of, of, kill of it, everyone of those dogs who it is all black. So if the dog is totally black, then we kill him. So what is the requirement to consider this dog a devil if he is all black? So if he have some white dots in his skin, we don't kill him. Because that means he is a good guy. He's okay. He is not the enemy of Allah. But if he is totally black, we kill him.
Even Muhammad, he forbade the Muslims from coloring their hair black. He forbade them from coloring their hair black. Why? Any Muslim can tell me why. Who is a Muslim in the text in YouTube? Like in Facebook, we don't have many. <coughs> Any Muslim can tell me why we cannot color our hair black? Why? What's wrong with coloring? Why I can color my hair red? <clears throat> but I cannot color my hair black. I will give you the reason and you will not believe it. The reason is very simple. The Jews and the Christians, they color their hair black. Muhammad, he said, don't do what the Jews and the Christians do. The Jews and the Christian, generally speaking, they don't color their hair when they get old. And they don't color their hair when they are young. And I'm talking about in the time of Muhammad. Muhammad, he came to a conclusion. As long as they are accusing me that I am copying from them, whatever I do, do the following. The Jews and the Christian do not die their beard so act differently from them so the Muslims start dying their beard so what is the reason for it act differently <laughs> by the way it doesn't say it doesn't say their beard this is between two brackets this is Chibet translator it says they don't die that is a reason to make a sunnah you know the Muslim they say to us we follow the sunnah of the Prophet so if you see a sheikh from the terrorist you will see he is coloring his beard red. And then you ask yourself, why a guy from Pakistan or even from Africa, he's a black person, but yet he has a red beard. And why Muhammad, he chose the red beard? Because he liked to look like the white Roman. He want to be blonde. So he forbid them from the black. Because this is the ugly color for him. And Muhammad, he claimed that the first one who did color his hair with the black is the Pharaoh. So we should not do what the Pharaoh do, for obviously the black color is the color of the devil, according to Muhammad. And that again, showing clearly a very clear sign of the racism of this filthy religion. Let me show you if I can get another hadith. Um, where Muhammad said clearly that you should not make it black. He made it clear. I mean, it's forbidden for any Muslim to do it black. Read it. Read it with me. Abu Qutada was brought on the day of the consequence of Mecca and his hair and beard were white like it's like you know white like snow the message of Allah said to him change this with something but avoid black why any Muslim can tell us why what is the wisdom of a prophet of God speaking for God to say you should not color your hair with the black what is exactly the problem do we have any Muslim mr. Jamir how are you mr. Jamir Khan we have a Muslim in the in YouTube maybe he can call us guys somebody give him my Skype maybe he can call me 
Do we have any Muslim would like to call? Anyone? Who is a Muslim would like to call us? And by the way, you can ask us the question you like. You don't have to answer my question. I mean, I will give you a chance. To ask us to question us. Who is a Muslim? I do it. So it's very clear that the cult of Islam have a problem with the color of black. Black horse is evil, black bird is evil, uh, uh, you know, uh, uh, you know, all those, uh, uh, you know. Uh, uh, statement Muhammad and Islam believe in it's something ugly any Abdul Who wanna call us? <laughs> I don't know. Sometimes I like. Uh, I feel like I'm talking to myself. Muslims are here, but they don't want to talk to us. They don't. You know, they are. They are just in text. Any Abdul? You know, those uh, guys in Facebook, they are not helping us to share the link with their friends. I don't know why. If you want people to come here and to learn, we have to share the links with our friends. If you don't mind, guys. Do we have any Muslim when I come to the mic? Who is a Muslim would like to call us to ask us question? I'm not going to ask you anything. I'm a person who like to convert to Islam and I need some help to be serious with you I am a very single man and I need to marry four women because I believe it's very fun to have four wives and the to make it more fun it, you will have four mother-in-law I mean how you can fight and resist such a temptation four women each one of them she will give you every nine months a baby Boing, 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 huh? You will feel like a rabbit. You enter the house with four women. A year after, there is six people in the house. Two years after, there is ten people in the house. Three years after, there's twelve people in the house. And etc. Uh, Roberto, I feel sorry for you, brother. Uh, brother, brother, sisters. Brother Roberto, he says he cannot handle only one wife. If you are a Muslim, you can invoke the God Allah and he will send you a death of this kebab. And then you eat it and you can handle 100 women. So I advise you, brother, to convert to Islam immediately. Muhammad, he has 13 wives and God knows how many sex slaves, yet he cannot have sex with one of them. As the hadith report that the prophet used to imagine himself having sex, but in fact, he never did. So Muhammad was having sex with whom? The prophet continued for such and such period, imagining that he had sexual intercourse, but in fact, he did not. Like, what the heck? So, what he was doing? Thank you, doctor. Thank you, doctor. Wake up. I like your name, doctor. Wake up. Muslims, wake up. You're a prophet. He has 13 wives, but yet even his sex was fake. 
look 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 at this guy when the angel come to him nobody see him when the angel squeeze him nobody see him when he went to heaven nobody see him even when he have sex nobody see him he was alone I mean have you ever heard of somebody having sex alone I mean this is impossible this is a miracle this is a miracle this guy this guy Muhammad everything he do is alone including his sexual intercourse so he was imagining having sex but in fact he did not and do you want more to prove that Muhammad is prophet of God than this who can do that nobody to have sex and there's no women with you I mean okay Muslims what he was doing then he was masturbating what what is that exactly what what do you mean imagine that he has sex but in fact he did not what does that mean what what, what does that mean what it's mean that Muhammad he think that he have sexual relationship is not about masturbation this guy he imagined himself in the middle of the day he's standing or walking but yet he think now he is kissing Aisha mm -hmm. Prophet, why you are moving your mouth? Mm -hmm. Prophet, why your hand is there? Prophet, Prophet, take your hand. You are touching the ass of the donkey. This is not your wife. And the Muslims, to cover the problem and the illusion of this man, they say to, to say, oh, he was bewitched. He was what? He was bewitched. So you Muslims following a bewitched prophet? So this guy he imagined himself having sex. What about imagining himself seeing an angel? If we cannot trust him even to tell us the news about him having sex, we find that it's fake. What about in that time where Muhammad is under the influence of a black magic, as you Muslims claim, which is there's nothing, no such a thing. What black magic? Voodoo? Somebody took some hair from the ass of Muhammad and he put wood on him. So all and everything about Muhammad proving that this man is suffering from mental illness. As simple as that. And the funny, the Muslims, they don't even hesitate, including his wife, to say that the prophet was bewitched. I'm serious. Did she say that? So if you are speaking to a Muslim, don't hesitate to say to him, oh, you are a follower of the bewitched prophet. You are not insulting. This is what the Muslims believe. This is what the Muslims believe. <clears throat> Let me show you. Where is that hadith? <laughs> Look at this gun. <laughs> I just remember this one. Okay, let me show you this one. I'm not going to show it, you know, I'll change my mind. In order to see this, you have to pay me. Who wanna pay me? Remember, remember the verse on the Quran says, "O Prophet, if any of them wanna come to you in a private consultation, he have to pay you." I wanna practice that. I wanna make some money. Ya ayyuha al-nadina amanu, idna jaytum al-rasul, faqadimu bayna yadayi najwakum. What the heck is that? I mean, why I don't practice it? I will make a lot of money. So what this verse is saying? Oh, who you believe? When you consult with the messenger in a private, spend something, man. Pay him something, man. I mean, you are a private consultation, man. <laughs> Anyone want to talk to me in private? Who here is willing to talk to me in private? We take dollar, we take pound, we take a Visa card, a Mastercard. <laughs> I am the Prophet Muhammad. <laughs> Have you ever heard of a prophet? He will not talk to you unless you pay him first for a private consultation. Huh? What's wrong with this guy? I mean, this is a serious prophet. 
I mean, business is business. This guy, he should be assistant to Trump. Trump, he have no kidding. Business is business. He wanna, he, uh, you know, Trump now is trying to get milk even from China. I mean, China, even China. Yes, China, the cow who have no milk. <laughs> Muhammad wanna milk everybody. It doesn't matter. You are poor, you are rich, you have to pay me. You wanna see me in private? Hello? You have to pay me. Hey, Tony. Tony, let me make it clear, Tony. Anyone want to come and see Antonio, he have to pay him a pizza or a pepperoni. The prophet will not accept you without pepperoni. At least bring pepperoni or a pizza with you. So we have a prophet. He will not talk to you unless you put some gas in his car. Hmm. Okay, we go back to that topic. Until now, nobody pay me anything. I mean, you believe it? After all this conversation, I thought people, they would say, okay, Christian Prince, here $10, here $20, here. I mean, come on, do something. Move, move. D don't you see? I'm, I'm trying to encourage you. I just give you a verse, but this is Allah. He gave it to me. Let me change some words here. We take this word here off. And we replace it. All right. I think now we are good to go. Oh, who you believe when ye consult with the Christian prince in private. Spend something in your charity before your private consultation. Who want to call me in Skype in private? Who want to do that? Hello? I mean, look how cheap they are. Unbelievable. It looked like Muhammad was very lucky. I have no luck. Huh? I mean... Life is not fair. Not even a customer. I mean, what kind of clinic my clinic is? Not even one customer want to call me in private and pay me? That's not even fair. All right. Let us go and show you what I was trying not to show you unless you pay me first. Now, the Muslim, they will take my video now, and he will say, guys, do you see Christian Prince is asking people to pay him to talk in private? <laughs> they would do it. Trust me, they would do it. What a fake people. Unbelievable. Go do it. Go. Go. Look at this. Look at this, man. The prophet is asking his wife a question. The prophet, he don't know what he is. <laughs> That's too much. I mean, do you see how much your prophet is so stable? Can't you tell how stable he is to the point he do not know what he is? Aisha, where I am today and where I will be tomorrow. Why? They are moving him like a cat? What do you mean where I am today? Muhammad, he do not know. Muhammad is suffering from, it says here, during his sickness. He keeps saying that. Aisha, where I am today, where I will be tomorrow. <laughs> and I was waiting for the day of my return. <laughs> He's a prophet of God who promised people to go to heaven. He promised people they will be with God, 70 version waiting for you, at least 80,000 version if you are a good guy, endless numbers of vagina if you are very good. And now you are saying where I am today and where I will be tomorrow.
Any Muslim want to explain to us what's happening? Let it go, man. Let it go. I mean, why you put it too hard in, in the Prophet? Peace upon him. The Prophet knows best. Okay. <sighs> Where is the hadith about uh, the Prophet bewitched? Hold on, hold on, hold on. A Jewish man cast a spell on the Prophet. Ish. Guys, do you know why I don't have Jewish friends? Now do you understand? Do you understand why I don't have Jewish friends? Look at this. If you have a Jewish friend, what he will do? The first thing he will do, he will cast... He will cast a spell on you. Do you see it? A Jewish man cast a spell on the prophet. Now imagine yourself, you are a Jewish man with a beard. And you are casting a spell on the prophet. Shish kebab, shish kebab, falafel, hum, hum, shish kebab. Shaladu, shaladu, voodoo, voodoo, who are you? What the heck? And you are telling me the Jewish are good people? The Jewish are controlling the Prophet. My video has been stopped. I don't know why. <laughs> My video and Facebook stopped. I hope it's not Facebook who stop it. <laughs> I will not be surprised if Facebook is the one who stopped my video. Yeah, it's okay. <clears throat> Unbelievable, man. I mean, how, how Allah allowed the Jewish man to do that to his prophet? Is it the Quran says that Allah, he protect you? Muhammad from the Jews from the Hindus from the Buddhas from the Christians Any Muslim Who is a Muslim when I call me Anyone? And then there's two angels. And look how right away Jibreel he come. We, 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 you know, Jibreel. I mean, Jibreel is right there for Muhammad. Brother Jibreel, brother Jibreel, brother. Uh, there is a Jewish guy. He put a spell in the Prophet. Please come immediately. Yes, brother, come immediately. Okay, okay. The address, the address, the city of uh, Medina. Where is that? I uh, use GPS, brother. It's in the middle of nowhere. Yes, in order to find that city, you will find a tree in the right side of the tree, city. The whole tree, the whole city have one tree because the prophet, you know, he cut them all. Yes, okay. Alhamdulillah. Then Jibreel, peace be upon him peace upon him even jibreel come to him and said a jewish man has put a spell on you in such and such a will there is a knot a knot a knot the jewish guy he put a knot on the prophet and that was the voodoo Hold on. I will open my window and I will look if any of the neighbors have a knot on me. Knot? Are you serious? They put a knot on the prophet 
I mean, do you see how disgusting those people are? They tie the knot. Hold on, let us see how the knot work. Hold on. Let us find the picture of knots. So those people who do not know what knot mean, let me drive you knot. Not. This is the prophet was controlled by this, and look at the way they did it, man. Look like a heart. If they control his heart, I told you, I told you, I told you, the Jews they can do things to you. Do you see what happened here? They control the prophet by a knot. If any of you ever made me upset, I will make a knot for you. <laughs> this is a true story. This is a true story. The prophet was controlled by a knot. And by the way, this is, can be found in the Quran. Go right now in the Quran in English and search for the word knot. I'm not joking. There's a chapter in the Quran speaking about the knot. Muhammad, he teach in the Quran that people, they make a knot to make a voodoo for you. And this is true. <sighs> Protect me, Allah. Protect me, Allah, from the knot, especially from women. Because a lot of women they are making not for me. Some women they are making not for me, so I will marry them. Some women they are making not for me, so I will go crazy about them. Uh, Allah, there is a girl, she, her name is Aisha, she is making a not for me, so I will. Uh, I'm not going to say. Uh, please, Allah. I mean, not. This is not. This is not a thing. You know, this is not a stuff. This is not a stuff. The prophet who was controlled by a knot. I mean, do you see how strong this prophet? And look what it says. A knot that he tied for you. Oof. Oof. That's deep. That's, that's serious. You see, the Jewish guy, he is not only a Jew, but he is his special. He have a PhD in not making. <laughs> in different hadith, it says it's not the Jewish guy. It was his daughters. <laughs> oh boy, um, I, 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 I'm, com I, I'm convinced. Islam is is science. Islam and science is one. I mean, look at this, and you are telling me Islam is not about science. What's wrong with you? I mean, we have to be serious here. You guys are not serious. The messenger of Allah. S-A-W. Look how big the S-A-W, man. It's like, see how big it is? Look, look. The messenger of Allah is a small. The S-A-W is big. It's like B-M-W. And then he sent them to take it out. Take what? To take the knot. <laughs> oh boy uh, I think I'm going to take a knot for lunch today who want to eat knot with me he sent them to take the knot hmm hmm true story do we have any Muslim have an objection? Anyone? And by the way, this is Sahih. The Hadith is Sahih because I know what the Muslim they will say it's weak, brother. It's weak. <laughs> this is weak. <laughs> it is not weak. It's Sahih. It's very Sahih. What do you say?
Oh, Jamir Khan is a Muslim from India. He, ag he agreed that the Quran is full of mistakes. Thank you. Thank you, Jamir. I appreciate your honesty. Thank you. At least this guy is trying to be honest. <coughs> oh, boy. Hmm. Oh, hold on. You know, uh, the funny, the Muslims, they say to you, can you make Quran like the Quran? Quran is a saja. Saja is not is not a point. It's a kind of like rap, you know, like uh, yesterday I saw uh, Muhammad. Uh, and uh, you know, uh, you know, I want to say something to him in different way. So I will say to him. Uh, yesterday, I said I saw Allah, and right away I said to him, Mashallah. And then after I shake hands with him, I said Alhamdulillah. And then after we left, and he turned back to me, I said Astaghfirullah. Uh, you know, it's like this. It's stupid. There's no, there's no mean. This is why, if you read the Quran, you understand nothing. It's a confusing book because he's trying to fix. The terms, or let's say the tone, with the words. It's not. He's not concentrating in the word meaning. He's trying to find the word fit in the place. So Muhammad, he don't want people to be in competition with him. To show him how stupid his Quran is. So look what he said. Abu Ali said, "I have been told by uh, Ubaid, Abu Ubaid, etc., etc., etc. It." means that his heart is full of poetry so much so that makes him neg lick for of the Quran all right what does that mean exactly the Prophet said the Prophet said it's better for a man Billy to be full of pus than to be full of poetry Do you see how much he is trying to stop the Arab from making poetry? Poetry was number one entertainment for the Arab. He don't want anyone to make poetry because then people, they can compare between his stupid Quran and the amazing poetry the Arab used to do. You see, the Arab, they used to have a, a competition for poetry every year and they hang their poet on the walls of the Kaaba. And all those who wrote poet before Islam, the, the highest amazing poetry, they are not Muslims. And they are, most of them, they are Nasara, which means from that cult of the Christians. So the point there you will see, it's like thousands and thousands of lines. And they don't even repeat the same word twice. This is how much strong they are in language. Then Muhammad, he come, and now he is trying to present something new. There is something is called Sajjul Kuhan. Maybe we should make a special study about this. Sajjul Kuhan. Let us see if we can find something in the hadith here in the website. I'll give you an idea. All right. Read with me. <clears throat> Allah Messenger, why should I play blood wit for one who neither drunk nor ate nor spoke nor made uh, any noise, etc., etc.? Then look at what says. Thereupon Allah Messenger said, He seems to be one of the brothers of Sooth Savior on account of the Raman speech which he compo has composed. Anyone understand what he's, what he's saying? 
this is the Muslim translation to make it simple for you Muhammad is admitting that in his time there is people who they are called Kohan Kohan is monks monks uh, but they are monks in what you know let us say uh, they claim wisdom and they speak in the same way that Muhammad he made his Quran Muhammad he copy their way and make his Quran to fit with their way and this is why he forbid people out after that from doing this nobody can do saja no more this is how the Quran started let us see if we can find you something more you see those are a group of people they always talk in the same way which means you talk to them you say what's your name he don't give you his name he make rap but a nice one not like the Quran they are very well known and they spend all their life doing this they don't talk you see it how many times it's repeated Do we have any Muslim have a question? No, he was not even a rabbi because the Quran is a stupid book. You see, rabbi, at least some, you know, some rabbi music can come with something useful, can come with something real. The Quran is just it doesn't make even it doesn't make sense. In the same time, the words are not match and it's full of uh, of error. We cannot even consider the Quran as a rap. He is trying his best. Like, you know, if you go to the Quran, I will give you an example. As long as we are talking about uh, magic. What do you make out of this? Chapter 113. Let me show you. I mean, what kind of Arabic music this stupid thing is? قُلْ أَعُوذُ بِرَبِّ الْفَلَقِ مِنْ شَرِّ مَا خَلَقْ مِنْ شَرِّ غَاسِقٍ إِذَا وَقَبْ مِنْ شَرِّ النَّفَّاثَاتِ فِي الْعُقَدِ Suddenly he changed the tone. You see? The first, uh, uh, you don't speak Arabic, but you can tell the first, the last letters here is the same, right? Do you, do you know this with me? You guys, most of you don't speak Arabic, but no problem. Read with me. The last letter here is the same. You notice, notice with me? The first two. Okay. But the third after is not the same. So he always failed. He cannot even make two sentences as a rap. The third one, it changed. Then we continue. This is a very short chapter. Very short. He could not even maintain it. So look, the first two, the first two, the word end with this. The third changed, he failed. The, the fourth end with the letter D. The fifth end with the letter D. D was D like dog, you know? Okay, that's it. So what kind of rap is that? It's a failure. If you read the translation for this stupid verses, you will find that there's no meaning for them. Let us go. You can choose any translation you wish. Anything. What does that mean? Say I seek refuge from in the Lord uh, uh, of the daybreak. What does that mean? Anyone can tell me? What is the daybreak? I seek refuge in the Lord of the daybreak. Why? Allah appear only in the day. What does that mean? Any Abdul? From that evil which he created, Allah created the evil. So Allah, I seek refuge from the evil of Allah. From the evil of darkness, when it is intense, like what? And from the evil of uh, 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 witchcraft. 
and from the evil of the invader when invents. Right, but this, this doesn't say that, by the way. Here yeah, doesn't say that. This is a false translate. Let us let us change the translator, and you will see how translation change. All right? Because it says not the word not does not appear here. It's about making knots. Here we go. You see it? Here it appears. And from the evil of those who blow on knots, the prophet, he is a certain, you know, guys, if, if who is talking here? There's a question here we need to ask ourselves. Is that Allah talking or Muhammad talking? Who want to give me an answer? Any Muslim can tell us who is talking? It cannot be Allah. But yet the Muslim they say this is Quran. They say to you, don't you see it says say? Don't you see it? Are you blind? It says say, but that's stupid still. Because he say or not, he say on are you saying if I say this, those things will not happen to me? Here we go. Muhammad, he say that, and Muhammad was controlled by the black magic and was controlled by the knot. According to him, <laughs> you know, you know what I mean. So, what the point of say, and how somebody can control it by the knot? <laughs> I made a knot. I want to control you. Muhammad was killed by poison, and he was bewitched, according to Muslims, by the knot. The language is bad, the rap is stupid, and there is no sense and there is no connection between them. What is the connection between the Lord of the Dawn? He is the Lord of the Dawn, so he is not the Lord of the, the, the Afternoon. Any Abdul? Who is a Muslim want to give us uh, a call? May they, may they, a Muslim is needed, may they. Anyway, you see, Islam is a chain of stupidity, and we can continue talking about this cult forever. But it doesn't matter what page you open in the Quran. And this is my challenge to the Muslims. Please, Muslims, you can call me anytime, anytime you wish, including now. And you can choose for me any page in the Quran and you challenge me to find you a stupid thing in that page. What do you think, guys? Is that fair? Is that fair? Any page. I mean, here we go. The Quran. Just give me the Quran. I'm not going to pick up things uh, to show you like here and there because maybe there's something good. Choose for me anything in the Quran, any page. Say to me, okay, this is a page in the Quran. I want you, I challenge you to show me something wrong in it. And leave that for me. What do you think? Do you see how sure I am that I can find your stupid things in the Quran? It doesn't matter where you go. And if you are not accepting that challenge, that's mean you know that I am right. Who is a Muslim when I do it? Anyone? Nobody. Nobody. <clears throat> nobody know, nobody know, nobody know, nobody. And yeah, hey, Muslims, can you control me by a knot? And the funny we find in the Quran that Allah He sent two angels and they are the one who taught people how to do the knots. Like what the heck? <laughs> Allah will provide a knot for every citizen. He sent two angels to open a training center for how to do voodoo. And where we can find that in the Quran chapter 2, verse 102. 
the first voodoo center is created in the world by Allah he sent down to earth two angels who took the elevator using the Babylon Tower <laughs> I love the Babylon Tower oh boy they took the Babylon Tower I mean why they came down in the Babylon why who is a Muslim I tell me why those angels they came down in the Babylon Let's see if we can find something about the Babylon. Babylon, Babylon, Babylon. And this website doesn't have anything about the Babylon. No, there's nothing. I can't find anything here. <clears throat> mm, nothing about the Babylon. This is a website, you know, provide like uh, pictures. Look like I cannot find anything. Okay, no problem, no problem. So, According to the Quran, Allah He sent two angels. One of his name is Harut, and the other one his name is Marut. <coughs> and those two angels, those two angels, they came down on the Babylon Tower elevator. Makes sense. This tower is made to go to God. So those angels are sent down from that tower. I mean, who can deny that? It's obviously true. The angels, they took the elevator and they come down and their name is Harut and Marut. All right. So uh, uh, Allah, uh, obviously, he know what he's talking about. He, Allah knows best. You know, Allah, at the end of the day, knows best. So he took the Babylon, he sent his name. Allah, if Allah he sent angels, where he will send them? Think about it. What is the best place to come down from the sky? The Babylon Tower. Hmm? Do we have any Muslim here? <clears throat> Anyone? Who is a Muslim here? He is here. He is convinced really that Allah He sent two angels in the Babylon Tower. Anyone? I mean, put yourself in the shoe of those angels and you want to come down. What you will do? Mm. Bad boys, bad boys. What you gonna do? What you gonna do when I come for you in the Babylon Tower? Bad boys, bad boys. That's deep. That is science. Angels, Babylon Tower, magic. They are teaching magic. They open training center. And you know what? When you sign, when you join the training center of magic, do you know what Allah He told the angels to do? What do you know what He put in the disclaimer? Anyone knows? Do you believe it that Allah He made a disclaimer before He opened the training center? Look how Allah is a great God. He made a disclaimer saying, Okay, hold on. Yes, Marut and Harut, they will teach you magic, huh? But they will not teach you without saying, read with me, without saying, disclaimer, disclaimer, take a note. We are only for a trial, so don't bless, bless me. Huh? They learned from them the means to sow discord between a man and wife. Disclaimer, disclaimer. But we... They could not thus harm anyone except by Allah permission, which means even the harm of magic have to happen by Allah permission. So how Muhammad was controlled by the magic? <laughs> so Allah, he opened a training center. He sent two angels. Their specialty is voodoo. Their name is Harut and Marut. And by the way, Harut and Marut, me, myself, I met them personally. I met them in the grocery store and they were buying some stuff for the voodoo. Okay, Harut and Marut. Anyone want to join? <clears throat> what do you mean with the point? 
What do you mean what the point? The point is Allah is all knowledgeable. He opened a training center to teach you magic. He want to increase your education. You want to get certified? Who can give you a certification of voodoo better than Allah? You join the voodoo center of Allah and the teacher is Dr. Harut and Dr. Marut. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy, unbelievable. I love it. I love it. Hey, Dr. Harut, uh, how I can bewitch my mother in law? You liar, you're not even married. So, how you can go? I'm, I'm thinking about in the future if I get married, how I can bewitch her so she will not come to my house anymore. Okay, you do this you go and you bring thin hair from a wild cat. Her name is Susu. Oh, so she have to have a name. Her name is Susu. Yes. You have to look for a wild cat. Her name is Susu, and you take hair from hair tail, thin hair, and they have to be black with white. And then you put for her with her coffee some of this hair, two hair at the time in each cup. And each time you put the hair, you say the following: Allah make her leave me alone. Allah make her leave me alone. Allah make her leave me alone until she finished drinking. And be sure that your mother-in-law she is not hearing that; otherwise, she will kill you. <laughs> I mean, God who opened a training center for magic, and He sent two angels. And the purpose, guys. The purpose of this training center is a good purpose, is to make the husband and the wife fight. fight sorry. <laughs> you believe it? God is sending two angels, and the purpose of this black magic is to make what? Just read, read, read with me, read me, read with me, read with me, read, read. I don't read. No, no, I know you do not know. Okay, do you want me to squeeze you like the prophet? You've been squeezed three times. Should I squeeze you? Come on, don't force me to squeeze you. Read with me. Look what it says. We are only for a trial, so don't do less than me. They learned from them the means to sow discord between the man and the wife. I mean, look how noble the target is of Allah. Allah, He opened a training center to do black magic just to make you fight with your wife. You see, Allah is is a, is the kind of God He have a planning uh, for the future. Like he's like a government, but it's a wise one. So now on the time, in that time, Allah, he decided to open a training center. Huh? Which is very normal. The, the first training center opened by Allah, as you see. Look here, the translation change. Uh, hmm. The angels, nor they teach anyone. Till they had say, look, look, you see the disclaimer, disclaimer again. The angels will not, Harut and Marut, they will not teach anyone till they said, they had said, we are only a temptation. Therefore, disbelieve not in the guidance of Allah. Who can believe? Who can disbelieve in the guidance of Allah? Are you kidding me? You are going his center to learn magic now. And from those two angels, people learn. That by which they cause the vision between the wife, the man, and the wife. I mean, look how noble the message is. The training center have a noble direction. He want the man and the wife fight. If you ever fought with your wife, that's because one of your neighbor he did voodoo for you, and they learned that from the training center of Allah, which is run by Doctor Harut and Doctor Marut. <clears throat> If any of you would like to join the training center, by the way, I have connection. I know the phone number of Harut. I'm serious. Okay. But you need to pay me extra because I'm the one I'm the only one here speak Arabic. Sorry. You can if you call him those those Harut and Marut, they don't speak uh, English or they are Arab. Allah is an Arab too. Allah he only hear a prayer in Arabic. So you have no choice. Anyone? Who wanna who wanna control? Okay. Especially women, you know, women they will love those things. Hey, women, who of you want to see somebody you don't like fight with his wife or a wife fight with her husband? Come on, $25 for a private consultation. 
and you have to pay in advance as the prophet said pay from your charity on before you see the prophet in the private consultation <laughs> what a crazy religion and this is wisdom supposedly <clears throat> you know uh, there's a guy his name is Osama Abdullah this guy is, is an official idiot first time he come to my chat room he said I, I, I spoke about magic so he said the Christian Prince stupid Christian Prince Christian Prince stupid Christian stupid stupid don't you know that science proving to be false Christian Prince don't you know stupid Christian Prince I said to him are you sure he said don't you know yes I'm very sure don't you know that proving that this is false I said are you sure <laughs> he said what's wrong with you are you stupid or what yes I'm sure there is no such a thing it's false science prove it to be false then I showed him this verse and he was reading and follow that which the devil falsely related and and bingo he's gone disappear and then the Muslims they wrote an article about him because this guy he claimed that he is going to debate the Christians you know this is a joker so they wrote an article do you believe it that Osama Abdullah he came to Christian Prince and he taught him he told him and there's hundreds of people listening that magic is false and then Christian Prince, he got him busted. He showed him the verse from the Quran. <laughs> Brother, don't you think Osama Abdullah is a kafir? <laughs> what a donkey. Garbage in, garbage out. <clears throat> this guy, by the way, is really something. This guy, he fabricated a threat. He, fa he fabricated an email coming from a guy, other Muslim, that this guy want to kill him. Then that guy, he hired a lawyer, and they go to the police, and they start investigation, and then they found that the email is made by, by Osama Abdullah. <laughs> oh, boy. <laughs> Imagine. You send an email to yourself saying, I will kill you. <laughs> oh, boy. Uh, <laughs> Sometimes you read these stories, you cannot really believe it. I mean, <laughs> oh boy. <laughs> Oh boy. Uh, uh, and you know the funny uh, there is an email was was sent to uh, Sam Shamoon. You know Sam Shamoon, right? A, a wonderful person. I really lo love this guy. Uh, Sam Shamoon because he, he he emailed them, you know, like to get them busted. So they put him uh, this guy Osama Abdullah, he put him in the mailing list. So he was sending the email for all the Muslims supposedly, but he forgot. But a copy of the email is coming to Sam Shamoon. <laughs> all the scandals. I want to beat you if I did uh, uh, Osama Abdullah and Bassam Zawadi and uh, uh, what his name, Monkey Box, uh, Ahmed Nadir, all those uh, stupid people. I want to kill you if you are a man meet me in the front of the library I will show you how to behave I will break your bones I will break your arms I mean if you read the emails I don't know if how many of you saw them oh man <clears throat> you can ask you can ask uh, Sam Shamon about it because I think he published all the emails in his website oh boy all right look like we are out of customers for today i started today early so we can get more people early uh, if i do it tomorrow uh, as i said guys we will have a long broadcast in the coming saturday at 2 p.m 2 p.m new york time but during the week i will still i will do uh broadcast but not necessarily in certain time when i can do it i will do it this way we can get people from everywhere from many locations you know and those who they uh, finish work later they can watch what we 
uh, what we did all right so I want to say thank you guys I think we have enough for today I want to say thank you for being with us uh, 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 and I am uh, thankful for those who are trying their best to help in what I do as an example I receive a message today from uh, <clears throat> from someone trying to get me uh, to to do a seminar in Europe so we will see if that is going to work that would be wonderful uh, and we will see if we can accomplish that mission so I want to say thank you may the Lord bless you for being here until I see you tomorrow if I do tomorrow I say may the Lord keep you in good wealth and health and the most health important health we pray to the Lord to have is our brain because a human being without his brain is really really a bad creature dangerous he can do a very harm behave even to his own family so we pray that the Lord will keep us always supported by his wisdom will keep us healthy first in our brain and then the rest of our body because body without a healthy brain is nothing I don't mind to die from any kind of disease but I pray to the Lord that my brain will stay functioning until the last second in my life so let us uh, uh, focus in something very important which is how to you know to encourage ourselves to read and to learn learning my friend is the best thing you can do in your lifetime you see everything you do uh, you know watching movies go and picnic etc it you know you don't hardly you remember it even you know or you, what you you enjoy food it's it is a temporary joy but knowledge is something you enjoy every second when you go in a place and you sit with pe between people you will notice right away that you are different you are unique people listen to you right away you will feel like you are not the same person anymore because your knowledge will speak knowledge is extremely important and the more you know the more you change and you change for better so I encourage you when we uh, show you something study not necessarily about Islam Islam is just a cult I mean it's just one of the stupid things in the whole world there's tons of stupid things Educate yourself my friend read and even sometimes bad stuff reading it is not bad because I want to read About what I believe is bad So I can fight it better The same as we are doing right now. We are not reading Islam because we like it I'm not reading about Islam to make fun of the Muslims. I'm making fun of the evil of the one who made this religion the Muslims are victims so here I have a two duty duty is to make the Muslims see and open their eyes and duty to make the Christians aware and not to be fooled by this cult because all of us at the end of the day we are target of something evil it can be corruption it can be uh, anything you know life is full of bad stuff and it's very easy to fail and I believe the only the only way to protect yourself is knowledge People, if they have knowledge, if they have knowledge, they will not suffer. Remember, Adam, he thought because he was a fool, if he ate from a tree, he will get the knowledge. This is not what we want. What we want is what God told us to do read the books. Not to fool ourselves and think if we eat an apple, we will get the knowledge. That is not what give you knowledge. So be smart, be wise, as your Lord, the Creator, who told you to be. Read the books, starting from your own books, starting from the Bible. Muslims have accusation. Go and read and check it out and see if it's truthful or not. Don't take what people say to you for granted. Don't believe in Jesus unless you are convinced that he is a person to follow. We are not fake people and we don't want to be people who follow blindly. I choose to believe in the Messiah for I could not find better person than him. 
go and examine that by yourself I could not find better person in the ethic in the philosophy in the wisdom in his behavior as a best example there's many people they say good things but they are bad you can be a person who say great amazing speeches but you are the worst of mankind you can be a bishop who speak about God and wisdom and love but then when you turn go behind the door you can be a child molester like Muhammad so wisdom and reading they go together a person who is ignorant he is limiting his himself with you know little things he knew and that will limit your wisdom even though that God occupy us with certain kind of wisdom even by birth but he encouraged us and he said read the books search for the truth and the truth will set you free and I cannot find better than the Messiah to set me free and this is my challenge to the Muslims to get all the speeches the Messiah he said and compare any of them with the best of the best you have in your Quran and you will find that your God with the claim of the amazing Arabic which is false cannot even get it close to one line of Jesus words the Muslims are so proud about Arabic language which they don't even speak to know if it is true or not a guy from Pakistan is speaking to you about how amazing the Arabic Quran but yet you don't know Arabic what about show me how amazing it it is the wisdom of your God not the stupidity we have the God of wisdom and wisdom of this God is coming from love he is the one who said love your enemy if one asks you for a step you walk with him 1,000 if somebody asks you for your coat you give him your address imagine if the whole world practice just a three sentence of Jesus love your enemy to give and to help this earth will turn into paradise for nobody will have enemy and nobody will hurt anyone and nobody will stay without dinner and nobody will be homeless three sentences of the teaching of Christ can solve all the world's problems people they spend trillions of dollars for defense and security imagine this money spent on building schools free houses the earth is full of treasure full of money but the money is spent in the wrong wrong place why because mankind it chose to be evil choose to follow someone like Allah who says go and kill choose not to follow someone like the Messiah who said love your enemy so for us as a Christians I say to the Muslims we as a Christians we love you we don't hate you for my Lord he gave me the best medicine which is love a person who live with love he is healthy he is stable his brain is stable his feeling is stable his life is stable a person who live with hate he will never enjoy a second in his life because hate will kill you before it kill the enemy you hate hate is something you live with which means you are going to suffer from it get rid of hate and come to my Lord the Messiah thank you very much for being here may the Lord bless you Christ is Lord Islam is false and see you soon again bye bye thank you